Hi guys, it's Jada Mahogany and I am back with another video. If you're new to my channel, this is a space where we talk about lip edema, health, lifestyle, and a little bit of fashion and beauty. And if you're one of my day ones, welcome back. I miss you guys so much. So in our journey of our love series, of course, I came to you guys with healthy things to do in a relationship. And y'all know I gotta come back with the things where I feel like y'all should have left that stuff in 2021. So if that is something that you want to hear more about, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna come in hot on this one. I'm gonna come in hot on this one. Y'all don't beat me up. Okay, I'm just keeping it real. I think that it's not healthy to prematurely allow your significant other to one, meet your children or two, meet your family. Okay, there are so many reasons why. I don't think that's healthy. And I feel like a lot of other people don't think that's healthy. But in case you don't know, um, when you're allowing, like if you have kids and you're dating somebody and you allow them to prematurely um, meet your child or meet your children, what sometimes ends up happening, um, there's like a, a bond, a weird attachment that you may feel like, well, I can't leave this person because my kids know them. You know, maybe the relationship got a little toxic, but they're good with your child or they're good with your children. So you feel like now I got to stay in this situation. Like, let's just avoid that. Get to know them. Stop prematurely introducing them to your child or your children. And then with the family thing, like, you don't want people to just have access to your family like that. If you know that um, your mama can be messy or or your sister's messy or your, your daddy is messy or whoever, and they're meeting the person that you're dating and maybe they're telling a lie or maybe they're telling the truth, you know, it can become like a whole thing. So that's, I wouldn't do that, okay? Um, number two, number two. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm coming in hot on this one. I'm coming in hot. The unplanned pregnancies, okay? The unplanned pregnancies. All right, y'all. We all are adults here. We all know how to avoid or stop unplanned pregnancies. So let's continue to do that. I don't feel like I have to go into detail about that because we're all adults here. But, like, let's treat our bodies good. Let's be good to one another. Let's stop that, okay? Do what you have to do if you know that you don't want to be a single parent or you do not want to bring a child into this world knowing that you're not ready, okay? So there's number two. Number three, okay? Y'all like to tussle? Don't beat me up. Y'all don't beat me up. Don't beat me up. Stop telling y'all friends all y'all business. Stop telling y'all friends all y'all business. Now, okay, don't get me wrong. You got your day ones. You got people that, that really know you. You have people that you have healthy relationships with, healthy boundaries. You know, that's fine. But that girl that you work with, why are you telling her your business? That man from the Uber ride <laughs> that, that take you to work, why are you telling, why are you telling him your business? Your ex-girlfriend, why are you telling her your business? Like, stop that. Like, for what? Why? Why? Why do you need to do that? Stop it, okay? Another thing, let's stop being unintentional about what we want. Like, if you know that you're not ready for a relationship, if you know that um, you still have feelings for that ex or whatever is going on, if you know that you got a warrant out for your arrest, <laughs> like, the list could go on and on, whatever is happening, and you know that the relationship is just not going to work, Baby, stop forcing it. Stop forcing that. Like, leave that alone. Like, stop forcing the size eight shoe, the size eight foot and the size six shoe. Like, why are you forcing that? Let's not do that. And last but not least, last but not least, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, stop moving in together without talking about finances. This is something that's talked about on social media more times than none about who should pay what, um, who should pay what, when what should get paid, all of those type of things. I'm not going to go into that because my opinion about it may be different than others, but way, way different than others. But talk about that. If y'all agree that y'all want to pay half and half, do that. If y'all agree that whoever gets paid in the week that the bill is due gets paid, do that. If y'all agree that y'all want the head of the household or whoever has the place in their name to pay all the bills, do that. 
do whatever works for you. But talk about that. Have that conversation before y'all shack up and then stuff just be a hot mess, okay? So, yeah, definitely talk about that. Any home, that's it for the the the, the what the what's not, the what not. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have anything to add to that video, let's each teach, each one teach one, okay? Put those down in the comment section if you feel like you have some value to add to this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit me up on Instagram because I definitely want us to be friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!